Hey all, this is Greg Jones, Side Alt Technician, and uh, what we're going to do today here, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how I adjust a blow read uh, on a chromatic while it's still assembled. Now it's a little bit tricky, uh, but uh, let's just kind of see uh, one of the ways we can make a minor uh, adjustment here. So I'm going to tilt my camera down right there. What I have is a... Um, it's going to be a Seidel uh, Deluxe Steel, so we have stainless steel reeds. And so um, the particular reed that I want to adjust is on the bottom side, so that means it's going to be the blow uh, with the button in, and it is the, um, the fourth reed in. So if we're counting over, this is one, two, three, four, it's the blow reed. So what am I going to do? I'm going to prop this thing up using a little bit of needle reamer, and then I'm going to push down on that reed to sort of open up the gap. Now, the biggest mistake that most people make is they just push it down once or twice and sort of assume that there's an adjustment in the gap. Uh, when in all actuality, we have to actually, we have to press that thing down uh, until there's tension and then exceed past that. And it's not uncommon for me to do that 30 or 40 times. So we'll count one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And uh, then I'll do it again. And uh, sometimes, if you can see, I'm going to switch it around here. I actually do it right up there close to the uh, close to the base of the reed. So we have to do it several times. We have to go past past the point of tension. So remember these reeds are vibrating when we play and so if they were to adjust their shape just uh, from the, the slightest bend we would always have uh, reeds that are out of adjustment. So you really, you, you're really you're literally bending metal. So I'm using here two uh, needle reamers. They're very precise, very sharp uh, and they get up underneath that wind saver without damaging it. So I'm going to continue doing this. Now this is a little bit of work. This is what I'll do for a final adjustment. And uh, this just sort of saves me uh, the hassle of having to completely dismount the harp. Anyhow, that's uh, bringing the camera up. That's how I do it. And um, stay tuned and uh, I'll be posting some more uh, repair tips down the road. Thank you.